All right, guys, welcome to episode 156 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. But we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? How we feeling? How we feeling? Yo, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. We're here. We're doing it. You already know. Round of applause for everybody that's with us, everybody that's grinding, everybody that's doing it. We salute you. Hope you that you salute back. And if you don't, yeah. go suck a fat one. Yeah, if you right? don't salute, then fuck you. Straight like that. Go lotion your legs. Go lotion your legs, all right? Yeah, because it's been dry, bro. I've it's been, been fucking... Bro, it's been cold. It's cold fuck. and dry, bro. This guy, you know what? Before we get into it, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, yeah. Last night, it happened to just drop to 26 degrees where we were at. Right Before I go to sleep I set the AC I put it at 70 I was like You know what It's gonna stay 70 degrees It ain't gonna be uncomfortable In here It might drop a little yeah. bit less Yeah This guy completely Turned the AC off So we woke up In a fucking ice box <laughs> Yo I woke up It was up, 60 uh, degrees In this motherfucker I was like bro Why is it so brick in I'm here I'm fucking melting I'm telling you Like not melting But I'm fucking <laughs> I'm fucking freezing And then like When you get out You melting Cause it's like Damn bro That's how cold it was It was more colder in the house Than it was outside Facts <laughs> and I had to text him I was like Yo, bro, if you keep the AC at a certain temperature, it'll stay there. Like, if I like, get cold, he's like, that's why it was so cold. Like, fuck, I woke up. I was like, God damn. It's a fucking freezer, bro. It's, it's a fucking freezing fucking. Nah, it's a cold world, bro. It's a cold world out nah, here, if you get what I'm saying. It's a cold world, bro. Facts. Going straight into our first topic, bro. I wanted to talk about this piece of shit, man. Yeah, we're going to put a picture up here for she. You know, she's a pretty girl, too. You wouldn't expect nah, that. You know, these pretty. You're an ugly bitch. <laughs> I don't care how fine or how pretty you look. You're an ugly bitch. Yep. You stole. All right, let's just get into it, man. Yeah, yeah. There's got, a I local got, story. Yeah. It's Go a, ahead, Johnny. It's a local story, you know, from Central Florida. Her name is Jenna. Culees, whatever the fuck, it doesn't matter. I don't even care if I said it right. Yeah, so a woman is now facing charges after stealing almost two hundred thousand dollars from her grandfather over the course of two years, bro. Dipping into her grandfather's account, he's fucking what 80, 86 86, years old, bro. So you started doing this when he was like eighty four. <laughs> oh my god, you are a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't care what you say, bro. Like I don't. You're yeah, you're a he, piece of shit. Like you probably couldn't go to him and ask for money for a reason. Yeah. So you decided to do that. Cuz he knew you're a piece of shit. No. <laughs> no, dead ass. No, you like, you know, you you really are a piece of shit. Like I cannot I can't imagine taking over $190,000 from your grandpa, bro. Like how do you live with that? Like seriously, like how do you how, are you, how do you bags and fucking Balenciaga, I guess. How do you wake up in the morning and fucking like just go on with your day after nah, doing bro. some shit like that. Like, and that's just being entitled. Yeah, that that re- that's really what it comes down to. Like, she felt she probably felt like his money is my money. That's my grandpa. He should be giving it to me anyway. Like, some people just think like that, and it's like, bro, no, go get a job. He probably wasn't giving you money because he knew that you weren't doing shit with it, yeah. and you were just trying to spend it. You know what I'm saying? If you stole two hundred thousand dollars from him in two years, he, that family sounds like they're well off. Yeah, like it they, sounds like they're well off, bro. Like so be, it sounds like you were just being entitled, little bitch. Probably didn't want to go work. Yep. Probably didn't want to get your hands dirty. Start doing what you need to be doing to build your life because everybody has to go through that. But you yeah. wanted to take that route, and it's like, bro, you really are a piece of shit. And that's, that's the it. only thing I've been saying for the last twenty minutes. As this guy, yeah, I swear to God. And then like, and also like. You look at celebrities, there's some people like Shaquille O'Neal. It's like, he explained to his kids, like, I'm rich. Facts. You're not. Facts. I still want you to work for, you know. You have to. You got to work for what you got. Like, you know what I mean? Work for, for, for your success. You can't just take advantage of my success. Listen. You know, and I felt him on that 100%. Like, that's entitlement. Yeah. And as a grown-up, you should want to not live under your parents' shadow. I don't care if they got money or not. Like I don't know, bro. Like I just I'm I'm wired different. And like she, I think different, bro. She looks young too, bro. Like she looks really, really she young. She looks like she's 21, 22. Yeah. But still, that's you. You know, way old enough to know better. Like you're way old enough to know better. Like, I think she. I think she's facing thirty years. So imagine. Hey, man. If she gets them, bro, it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, that's fucked up. And then the fact that you did it to your own family member, a family member that's 84, 86 years old. Like, yeah. bro, Like come on, man. It's like, bro, he worked his whole life, man. 
He probably worked his whole life, bro, busted his ass to raise your parents for them to come have you for you to do this shit. Hell like no. Steal from the person that pretty much started all that shit. He started your whole family tree, basically. Like, almost what the like the fuck is wrong with people nowadays? Over money. Over money. Yeah, bro. and people change over money quick. It makes no sense to me, bro. Like money shouldn't make or break you, bro. Integrity, morals. Like, are you a man of principles? Do you keep your word, bro? Are you punctual? Are you a fucking you know what I'm saying? Are you fair in business? Like, there's so many other things that come with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like we're fucked up, bro. Nah, like this like people, world is fucked up. People switch over money quick, bro. And, bro, there was a saying with Fat Joe when he was, uh, I think I sent it to you, when he was like, he was explaining. He's like, man, I have 50 boys, bro. I went, I took them all to the Ritz, Ritz Carlton in fucking Puerto Rico mm -hmm. in San Juan, and I was chilling, and I told him, I said, hey, man, like, I, I brought everybody together for dinner. I was like, hey, man, I don't got it like that no more. Facts, like... Out of the 50 people here, only five of y'all could come now. Yeah, like I, like he said, like out of all the 50 people, only six of them told me, hey, bro, like, yo, I love you, bro. Like, I'm still going to stick around if you're broke or not, like, or if you got and money or not. And that's what happens, bro. And that's why it's like, I don't know, bro. You got to start weeding out people early before that shit even comes in. Before mm -hmm. the money even comes in, bro, you got to start vetting people out and be like, all right, so you're here for this, you're here for that. So when it comes, you won't be around, period. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Because it, it, it happens, bro. People use you. There's plenty of people out there, bro. They got money and they take care of people that after the dinner's over, bro, they go to the rooms and talk shit about the same person that just paid $10,000 for everybody to have dinner. Yeah. And it's just like, bro, like, I'd rather be alone, nigga, yeah. than to have bitch niggas like that around me. I'd rather I only have one person. I'd rather go fucking pick Pedro up and just me and him right out, nigga, than to have 50 niggas around like, oh, bro, like, nah, bro, like, at the end of the day, like... That that's just how it goes. You got to know what comes with different levels, bro. Like having money doesn't come with only glamorous shit. Like you really start realizing like some people are only here for that. Yeah, and like there's people that would just love you just for the stuff that you do for them. You know what I mean? And it's like that's not how it should be. You know what I mean? Like, it gets deep, bro. That's some that's some crazy shit. Listen, man. Real loyalty is tested in bad times. Yep. Straight like that. Like. Bad times really determines if somebody's loyal, if they have morals, if they have principles. Because it's real easy to be cool with somebody when you're cool with somebody. Yeah. But when you're, when, when you, you know what I'm saying? When you're at, at odds and shit, that's really where you start seeing people show their true colors. That's when you start seeing people run on social medias and like do certain things. And it's like, that's, that's not what you should do in a situation if it's a real friend. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like everybody goes through certain things, bro, but there should still always be that like standard of respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, but nah, that's it's just people, man. It's it's hard, man. You gotta tell. You gotta it's hard to tell sometimes. You gotta you gotta go through like you gotta go through shit just like what you're saying. Like you yeah, there's the tough times and shit like that. You know, that's that's what really matters the most. Like how you react in tough times and mm -hmm. because some people fold, bro. Yeah, bro, facts. Some people fall, bro. A lot fold, of people bro. do, man, and it's it's sad to see, but at the same time, it's like it, it helps you, bro. Like, like the the older you start getting, the more people disappoint you, and the less it starts hurting. Like, when you're younger, it hurts you way more. You know what I'm saying? Like, your first heartbreak is always the worst because it's your first heartbreak. Yep. By your third one, you're just like, eh. All You'll right, be all right. Cool. Like, fuck that bitch, but, like, Cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Like, I don't know, man. You, 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 you start to, the pain, you start getting numb to the pain the older you get sometimes, too. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. And then, like, it's easier to, it's easier to accept things when you know that, that they're coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you know you're going to be disappointed, you don't know who it is or where it's coming from yet, but you know at some point you'll be disappointed. And you, ha you know what I'm saying? Like, you're more prepared for it. You're just, ah, I knew it'll happen. I didn't know when or who it was going to be, but. I knew it was going to happen at some point. I knew yeah. somebody was going to switch up. I knew it's like, like death too. It's like, you know, yeah. it's like, it, you know, people are going to start dying off. You know, that's just life facts. So bro. when you start facts. mentally preparing yourself for it, I'm not saying that everybody's, nah, it, it, you know, it's, it's hard to be mentally prepared for death. You can never prepare, you know? And it's like, it's, it sucks, but there's certain things in life that you can mentally prepare. You guys see what I'm, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, I you guys like get certain it. Like, things. Yeah. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that though. Death is something I don't care 
I don't care how long you know somebody's gonna die. The day it happens, yeah, it sucks. It's different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's still different, but you could prepare with like financial things. Yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. Wills and whatever. Like you could prepare for certain things, man. Like the preparation is key, bro. You got to stay prepared. You got to plan two, three steps ahead, bro. You're gonna fucking yeah. You're gonna stumble and fumble. And then <laughs> oh, I stumbled up. and fumbled a lot. Stumble, mumble, yo, and fumble. Yo, I, I stumbled and fumbled a lot, bro. You know, I've been finessed. I've been fucking. <laughs> Out of my money I've been finessed I've been I've been fucked up Made bad decisions At my job There was one time bro I got fired from Verizon bro And it was like a, It was pretty fucked up man He was actually on the phone With me when I called him Like I was like Man I just got fired He's like what I fucking sped off bro I started going like Fucking 80 and a 40 <laughs> And I got pulled over. I was like, "Oh, now I'm getting fucking pulled over, bro." I'm on the phone the whole time. I thought he was bullshit. So a, I was like, "Ain't no way! You just got fired, and five minutes later, you're getting pulled over." Like in a matter of thirty minute time span, bro, bro I got bad. fucked. Literally, like, I, fucked. I, I got I got banged. You got fired, and that cop took your last check. What yeah. are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it was the craziest experience. And the only thing, the only thing that this guy could do was laugh at me, bro. No, and bro. you know, you know, and I, I kind of laughed too because I was like, bro, I can't believe this is happening. You ever been in some no. shit where you just laugh? You, there, yo, listen, like you guys, just laugh. Listen, you're gonna go through a lot of fuck shit in life. You have to learn to laugh about it. You have to learn to laugh about it, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying like that, bro. It was like. I'm on the phone. He's telling me about how his day is going. I'm like, damn, bro, that sucks. What'd you get fired for? He's explaining it to me and shit. I'm like, damn, bro, what the fuck? That's stupid. Yeah. Two seconds later, damn, bro, I'm getting pulled over. And I thought he was bullshitting. I swear. Uh, yeah, God. he's like, you're joking. Like, There's no, I, I was like, no way. There's no way. No, no, no. And then I just hear the cop. Hi, oh, this is Deputy Blah, Blah, Blah with the fucking Jersey Department. I pull you over because you're going there. I'm like, <laughs> This guy is fucked, bro. Yo, I really got fucked that day, bro. And the, I'm I'm not gonna give you the details. That's gonna be for more more Patreon. Yeah, but the reason gotta I go got check fired, out that Patreon. The reason he got fired will be on Patreon, and I swear y'all don't want to miss it. Go yeah, on. yeah, it's pretty fucking intense. It's, it's pretty hilarious. Uh, it's it's pretty embarrassing too. So uh, hilarious. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's fucking. That was crazy, you know. And going back to being finesse, man. Like I've been finesse so much that now that I think about it, I'm like. Especially by y'all women, I ain't gonna lie, and I finesse myself. I finesse, hey, but hey, round of applause to y'all women. Y'all really know how to finesse they're a nigga, sm- right? They're smart. I'm gonna let you know. They got the Fuck. plan point. They got plan, hey, bro. They got the blueprint. They got the blueprint. From and the guess day. what? Guess what? They huddle up. They huddle up. They huddle up. Her best friends running that way, doing this. Her other best friends, the receiver, she's catching it downfield. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. And they know exactly what the fuck is going on, dog. Yeah. Straight the fuck up. Like they run plays. Exactly. Just like we run plays. Let's be real, bro. Yeah. Guys go to the club. You know what's up. Yeah, you know the yeah. nigga that's gonna go fucking talk to you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, which you know girl. who's doing what, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know know look at this guy. Okay, okay. All right, bet you know you got you got Sammy over there. All right, yeah, I got like, Jessica. All right, bet let's let's like let's this, have this, this. You know, one of y'all go warm two of the girls up, and then one of y'all getting drinks. He pull yeah. up with the draw. This is my boy. Oh, what's up? Now it's two of y'all, two of us. What are we doing? Nah, but this girl's <laughs> smart, bro. Like this girl finessed the fuck out of me easy, and I didn't even see it coming. Even though she already did it to me once, and I was like, oh, she did it to me not once, guys, twice, bro. You know what I mean? What's that saying? Fool me once. The second time, bro, it's my fault for sure. No, that was that. That's why I played that. Yeah. It's, the first time, it's like, all right, that happens to us all. Yeah. But if yeah. this is finessing ass bitch, you ain't getting me twice. Fool me once. No, no, she got me twice. You. Fool me twice. Shame <laughs> on me. You ain't getting me three times. I ain't letting it fucking happen because nah, it's gonna she, be. It's gonna end yeah, in violence. She, she Snapchat you that pussy, bro. You you gonna fall for it? Nah, one nah. More she time. let me. She let me do whatever though. She'll let me touch that pussy. She'll let me fucking rub her arm and and her legs and and her ass. And, and then she'll get up and go to bed. And then she'll be like, you know what? I'm fucking tired. Thanks for the fucking pizza. <laughs> Thanks for the fucking drinks. Thanks for the everything that you did for me. Thanks for being a pillow. Hey, live your life, queen. Yeah. Live your life. Live your life. You know, like, I'm going to let you know right now that nah, you, you're a piece of shit, yeah, bitch. Yeah. But you know what? I'm the piece of shit, too, because I, I wasn't really going to be with you, and you knew it. Yo, listen, and that's yeah. where you fucked up. I didn't even get her number. She knew it was revenge fuck. She knew it was a revenge fuck. So she's like, bitch. Yeah, you're not. You're, you're, not, not, you're not getting this. You can buy me pizza. You can do all that. You can buy me a beer and a pizza. Yeah, I don't care. God damn, she got a fucking country accent too. And she's I'll drink like, it and I'll hop in my boots and hit the fucking road. Yeah, that's fine <laughs> with me, honey. And 
that's what the fuck happened, bro. Like, no, and I was like, nice. and and I felt really, really embarrassed, guys. Like, Listen, I really, really did. I'm not gonna lie. Round of applause. Yeah. To all the finesses that finesse the finesse. Yeah. That's hard. You finesse. You really finesse, you finesse the finesse. The finesse, bro. So yeah. round of applause. But you're still kind of like shady, bitch. Bro, like out of all the women, bro, that was the first one that was like, wow, like you really got your ass twice. Yeah, Ooh. twice. She I, taught you a lesson, bro. She did. She did. I I drove home. Smoking a fucking fat that's ass. The drive L. Of, yo, that's that's listening to Dolph. That's the walk of shame, the drive of shame. You know what I put on? <laughs> you know what song I put on, bro, by Dolph, bro. <laughs> yo, fuck them all. Talking to my scale when he's like, fuck these bitches, bro. Fuck these hoes. Fuck these hoes. For real, for real. <laughs> Run that money up, bro. And I swear to God, open up that Red Bull and I was hitting 80 on that bitch. What? I was going all the way down I 4, like. <laughs> Yo, I turned my phone off. Shame, bro. Bro, Drive a shame. I turned my shit off where like niggas can't text me and shit. People can't text me because I didn't want to talk to no one. Feeling the shame. Yeah. I wanted to go home and deal with this by myself. You know? Wrap yourself up like a burrito in your bed. You know, and my my homies are like, yo, bro, like, (laughs) what happened? You know, you ever been like that? Like, damn, bro, you fumbled. You had that shit in the bag, bro. bro. Sometimes it's not up to uh, It's fuck, not up to you sometimes Yeah It's never up to you bro Yeah it isn't And guys It's never your pussy It's just your turn Always remember that shit mm-hmm. I don't care what you say While you're fucking her And you're both climaxing Oh this is yours daddy No it's not Yeah It never was It never will be and, It's just your turn motherfucker Don't and, ever get attached And I talked I even called my mom I even texted This guy I was like Yo I need a vent bro I feel like shit I even called my mom bro <laughs> I call my mom. That's my how bad of a mama's boy. My dog's never been curved before. He's so confused. He's like Johnny Bravo. Yeah. I think it's just never been curved before. He didn't know what was going on. It's like, you ever seen that 70s show? Yeah. Where, where Kelso got like, yeah, he I got stood show. up for the date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. came up, he's all, there's only two conclusions. She's a robot or she's dead. Yeah. yeah exactly. There's no way a real bitch will fucking leave me hanging. <laughs> no, for <laughs> That's how I feel, bro. I'm like, there's no fucking way, bro. She's a robot. Yo, I'm a boss. That shit, that's, keep the $80, baby. You know, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Say, he's starting with 80, bitch. Yeah. What are we doing? Nah, I went home. I was like, man, I could have used that for this. No, bro. I could have been bro. here for that. But you know what, bro? Like, my mom told me, man, she was just like, hey. Don't go after the ones you want. Go after the ones that want you. Maybe you yeah. shouldn't You shouldn't go after the, your type. Listen, bro. What you want isn't always what you need, bro. And yeah. sometimes it takes us a little bit to understand that. What you want isn't what you need. You need what you need, not what you want. Yeah. It's, it's just straight yeah, like that. And that is it's true. That simple, it's like bro. when you're hungry, when it's like, yo, like my mom would be like, yo, I got this. And I'll be like, nah, I'm hungry, but I don't want that. She's like, then you're not fucking hungry. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, my mom was the same exact way, bro. It's yeah. like, bro, go make yourself a sandwich. There's shit that you can make there. If you don't want to make it, then you're not that hungry. Exactly. Straight and up, that right? was, that, I didn't get that till later in life. Yeah, nigga, I used to be like, you fucking <laughs> cheap. <laughs> I'd be like, you cheat, ma. And now I thank her, bro. I'd be like, yeah, thank you, ma, for yeah. real, because there is food in the crib. Like, yeah. why the fuck am I going to go buy more? There's food right there. Yeah, Make like, it, yeah. you lazy piece of shit. Like, I, got, I be making boiled eggs. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I'm not going to lie, man. <laughs> now that I'm an adult, I live my life how I want to. Yeah? And I eat out almost every day, bro. I'm not a cooking ass nigga. Nah, nah. I mean, not. like, I, I'll cook, but it's not the best. But, like, I'll cook. You know what I, I mean? I will, too. But that's why I don't do it, because it ain't the best. And I want to <laughs> eat something good, bitch. I you ever cook to- something and then it just ends up being ass it's and you got to eat it? Oh, it is trash. And, and then you, you wasted just- all this money and all this fucking time to find out that you, can, you couldn't even be a cook if you, you wanted to. You went to the grocery to. store. You got the ingredients. <laughs> you fucking cook it, and it doesn't come out as planned. That shit will make me mad. Nah, bro. It's like, what am I doing, bro? Bro, you know. Wendy's was right there. Man. <laughs> For real, the, the the two for four, whatever, the four for four. Two for four, four for four, whatever. But I'll tell you, man. I don't know, man. You been on any bad dates, bro? Like, oh, yeah, I've been on a few bad dates. I told you about it, man. There was this one date. The bitch, like, like man showed up. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he never told me up. that. Yeah, bro. There's there's a lot of shit I don't be talking about, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was surprised. It could have it could have got ugly, you know what I'm saying? But he just ended up getting emotional. And then uh, I just had to cut him out. Yeah, I just had to remind him, like, bro, it's okay. Yeah. Like Did he want to get banged? I'm not trying to wife your bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like he wanted to get banged too, getting fucking emotional and shit. Bro, nah, you see me- like he just had it was a situation where he didn't know she was dating. Like it wasn't his place. She it was her oh. place. Oh okay. but they had a kid together and he didn't know she was dating. Mm. They weren't together like 
technically, but he was just like heard about it, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. As a man, it would hurt. It's like, yeah. man, we had a baby. You're already, you're already out here. Yo, it's only been two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks. There was a video I seen that he's like talking to his boy. He's like, bro, bro, guess how long it's been, bro? It's only been fucking four days, and this bitch already fucking somebody else. Fact, four days. Four days. days. I'm After sorry, four bro. years. I'm sorry. If you're with somebody for years and you're fucking with somebody two, three, four days later, you were already talking to that person, if not already fucking with that person. Yeah. Then that, that means that you it makes no pe- sense. Yeah. Women, a lot of women, bro. There's one thing I do believe in when they say they have to like a nigga for them to fuck them. Yeah, like the women aren't like men. Men will fuck bitches they don't even like. Like just yeah. to get the nut off. Women aren't like that. Yeah. Women have to like you. Have some, some type, type of, of way. emotional affection. Exactly. Yeah. So when she's already fucking that nigga, bro. Yeah. She's already emotionally invested in him as well. Yeah. Maybe she's holding back. Maybe she's not trying to. You know, what I'm saying like. Give him that much emotional attention, but she's already somewhat invested, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, that's just my opinion on it. Y'all, y'all could go down in the comments and let us know if we bullshit and if we not. No, no, no. It's true though. It's true. Like, there is plenty of women. Like the last one that I was just talking about. Like, I didn't really like her like that. She just, I liked her for her body and I liked her for her eyes. Right. Physical yeah, shit. Just, it was like yeah. a lust. It was a lust. You know. And that's something that we were talking about off camera, bro. Where it was like. I, like as fucked up as it sounds Women look for men For what they can provide In their bank account That's what they find attractive Most of the time Yeah And most of the time Men look at women For their looks Yep So it's just how it goes bro That's how we rate each other Off Like instinctively Like off rip If you pull up In a fucking nice Brand new Mercedes bro And you're looking Dapper Dan And you're looking Like you're going To a business meeting You have way more Likely possibility Of a woman Being more interested In you than if you Pull up You know like just looking like you're going to fucking wash clothes at a laundromat. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a difference. Like, women yeah. just look at certain things and men look at certain things. And there's nothing that we could really do to change it. It's just nature. Like, yeah. It's just how it goes. And listening to your gut. That's, yeah, that's, facts, bro. That's, that's that's also a major key. Like, I was, bro, last night, I should have listened to my gut. I had it in my gut. I was like, oh, man, this is it just, it ain't, I just, I just know. Mm-hmm. You just know. Your body knows already. That's you facts. know what I mean? It's trying that's to facts. tell you something. You ignore it. You're like, nah, 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 I don't want to believe it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're like, oh, I don't want to be pessimistic. Maybe it is going to be a good night. And then you just go. But then you realize halfway through, you're like, nigga, I could have stayed home for this. I could have went to the movies with this other girl for this. I could have done something else. Yeah, and it just ends up being true. And then you get mad at yourself because you didn't listen to your gut. Mm -hmm. You're like, fuck, man. Like... You know, so that's that's super super important. Yeah, man. bro. Listen, most of the time your gut is right, man. Like you get these little feelings, bro. It's vibrations. Chakras. Everything is energy. Everything is energy. So when you feel a certain weird energy, like don't ignore it because it's coming from somewhere. Like it's not just you bugging. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, some people are a little out there. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But, but a lot of the times, it's like you're not just bugging. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like you know. You know what I'm saying? And going and going back to the bad date thing, man. Like I actually went on a really, really, really bad date, but it ended up being really, really good. But in the first half, you know, I, <laughs> it was bad, bro. I had to I had to be like Tom Brady in the last fucking quarter, come in with the fucking with the touchdown, yeah, the hell mary, with the audible dog. Like. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, just going back to it, man. Like we went to long we went to Longhorns. You know, it was nice. I'd never been to the establishment ever in that location. I have in. Uh, the one next to our house, mm-hmm. but not the one in, you know, Orlando and stuff like that. So I get there and I'm seated. I want this girl that, you know, I'm man, like we've known each other for a long time, you know? So it was a good time. It was fun. You know, we, we just let, we just left universal and shit. But anyways, we're sitting down, they see us down there and he's like, Hey man, he gives us the bread. He's like, oh, Hey, you look really familiar. You've been in this location before, but like, you know, some, I think you were with somebody else though, or something like that. And then, bro, I'm like, you know, and, I and I'm like, looked at this guy and be like, I'll never forget his name. His name was Orlando. I'd be like, nigga, bring me my fucking butter for the bread and shut the fuck up. Yeah, I was like, I was like, Orlando, no, I've never actually been here before, bro. And he's just like, oh man, oh you must have looked like somebody else. Then I'm yeah, sorry, man. And I, I was like, have. yeah, I must, I must have. have exactly. And then like he left, and then I look over at her, and she, she's just like, oh yeah, with somebody, with somebody else, huh? And I was just like, nah, I swear to you on everything, he got somebody mixed up. There's a lot of bald people in this world. Listen, man. You know, and she was just like, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I knew, I don't even think she believed it. Look, to be a, but she put, something. she kind of just like, huh, eh, whatever. And we're going to continue know. having a good night. You know, I got, I got some drinks in, you know, I loosened up a little bit. And, uh, 
yeah, we ha- it ended up being a good night. You know, I, I kind of, I almost fumbled it, but. Nah, that guy almost fucked it up. Fuck you, Orlando. You're yeah. a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. I would never tip you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't left you a tip. No, I didn't. I wouldn't have. I Mitch, didn't. You just I was, almost you, fucked up my whole knife for no reason. Yeah, and that was crazy. Here's I was so unexpected. Here's the tip. Next time, mind your fucking business. So How it, about that? It makes you think. Like, there's a lot of ways that your date could really get fucked up, and I didn't think that would be one of them. Bro, it happens in a heartbeat. And you're it just like so quick. Sometimes it happens just, so quick. It like, just so happens, quick. and yeah. then you're not even you're not in control of anything. You, yeah. The yeah. only thing you're in control of is like just, just how, how you, you re- explain. How it. do you react? And <laughs> how, how do you, you explain, explain it? Like, yeah, and it's like and either way, it kind of just there's no nah, way you're getting you look, out of yeah, it. Yeah, it's just like you're gonna look like a liar anyway. Exactly. And I was in their just mind, like, they're like, yo, like this <laughs> random guy has no reason to lie. He has no reason to lie. He doesn't know us. Yeah. yeah like so he, why would he say that? That's what they're thinking. But it's like, bro, I don't know this stupid nigga, bro. Like, I don't know what he's on. He probably popped a perk 30 and thought he saw his fucking uncle or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> like, for and real. He bro, fuck- I've never <laughs> been here. Yeah, so it was really embarrassing. And then I remember telling my mom that she's like, no fucking way. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> This is what happens. She's like, get the fuck nah, out of here. That's one of way, that's one way to fucking ruin your fucking night. And I was like, yeah, I had to fucking finagle myself nah, out of here. You got She's probably finagle, listening. Listen. Yeah, this is a long time ago, guys. This yeah. was like maybe like three years ago. When so. you got to finagle out of a situation like that, bro, it's so hard, bro. So hard. And as men, like the men that have had to do it, bro, you know what we're talking about. Like, that shit's not easy. Nah, hell it's no. It's like, bro, it's like getting sacked and now you got fucking 20 yards to go instead of 10. Yeah, fuck. And you got a fucking audible and uh, <laughs> 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 you got to like, run fuck. through niggas and fucking stiff arm a nigga over Yo, here, man. spin over there. I remember we used to play rugby too and fuck motherfuckers up, bro. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, hit. I didn't ever get to a game, but I did practice for a little bit, bro, and I, I think I could have been good, man. Like yeah, I, been I, I mean, I, I think you would have too, because yeah. you're pretty quick for a bigger guy. Yeah, bro. You know, I noticed it the day that I was holding back three niggas, bro, and I'll never forget Miles. Shout out to Miles, bro. If you ever listen to this, man, he was like, "Yo, go fucking help Hector." Like I heard him from like 20 feet behind me. I'm holding three niggas, bro. Just like and he's like, "Fucking help Hector, bro." <laughs> Like bro, like what the fuck? Where's Yo, my team, man? For nigga? real, bro. Fuck, I'm over here getting stomped by three niggas, bro. The people that be fucking yelling team gang gang <laughs> ain't fucking doing shit with fucking But screaming <laughs> team and gang gang. Yeah, bro. that's it, bro. You might as well be on the fucking sideline, bro. <laughs> Cheerleading I swear to god bro I hate people like that bro Bro They be fucking swearing up and down That they fucking Team bro <laughs> Ain't no fucking team bro You're a fucking loner And you're Facts. trying to win by yourself You're not Kobe Stop Facts bro For real That's a fact Everybody needs a fucking team bro I don't care who you are nigga Like if you run a business bro you, There's an owner There's a CEO There's a COO There's a fucking general manager There's a manager you Supervisor know what I'm saying? Like, like Yeah like, like bro like you're not the CEO because you're the general manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. at the end of the day, bro, I was like, did you hear what they did to what? Uber Eats? Now they have no. now everybody in Uber Eats in the company, including the CEO, has to deliver at least one. <laughs> so the CEO, of- hey, he's smart, bro. He's delivering to himself. Yeah, <laughs> niggas going to yeah. the fucking Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, you know, I delivered my own delivery, five star. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even you think about great. That. The most handsome nigga I've ever seen in my life. I saw the comments and I was just like, they were like laughing my ass of CEO, bro. Even the CEO, bro. Like, nah, I'd quit, bitch. Yeah, you got nah. me fucked up. I worked all this time, bro. Built this multi billion dollar company and you want me to go deliver it's, fucking McDonald's? It, it's like you won't get that check in unless you, it's like you forget to do it that one month and you're just like, you don't get your check and you're like, what, why am I not getting paid? They're That's like, what? what they you, didn't, you didn't fucking deliver. Well, I'm the fucking CEO. I own this. Yeah, what, like, the, what fuck? the fuck? Is, bitch, if you don't give me my check and go deliver some Uber Eats. No, nah, for real. That's <laughs> like, crazy. Hey, man, you. people were like saying, hey, that's going to humble. It's going to humble. And that's what they want you to think. That yeah. nigga ain't making no fucking delivery, bro. He's yeah. a billionaire, millionaire, multimillionaire. He's not fucking delivering Uber He's Eats. He's going to give bro. his phone to his kid to go do it. Yeah, he might have his fucking little fifteen year old son like, yo, you think you wanna do something here? Make some money, go. See how quick you don't wanna fucking work. Nah, for real. <laughs> for 
That bro. shit is trash. Nah, for real, bro. But listen, guys, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. And listen, man, go over to Patreon, check us out. We'll have the link in the description. You don't want to miss that shit because I got some fucking juicy shit and it's embarrassing. It's disgusting. It's in detail. Oh my God. Yeah, we're going to get We're going to gonna be talking about fucking asses. Fucking, I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, we're, I'm going to leave it like listen, that. Listen, we, we got y'all. We got y'all. Go over to Patreon and check it out. But listen, remember to tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.